What's going on, everybody? Brandon here. I hope you're having a good day. And first off, I just have to say how awesome it is that we've hit over 500 followers here. Thank you guys for your support. Appreciate that. Keep that coming. I love it. Um, but that's a huge milestone, and I'm looking forward to hitting the 1,000 follower mark here soon. So before we get into today's video, today I'm going to be talking about how to change your Steam back dollars into Steam Power. There's a couple ways to go about doing it. Sort of self-explanatory, but not, you know, really. I mean, I'm sure some people have questions about how to do that. So let's uh, go ahead and first of all, go into yesterday's post and choose a random comment winner. You know, every single day I give away 20 US dollars worth of SBD to a random person who upvotes and comments my post. So if you guys love my post, <laughs> go ahead and feel free to upvote it and comment on it. You could win 20 US dollars worth of SBD. So yesterday's post was crypto investing crash course for beginners. Let's go ahead and choose a random comment winner from that post. All right, the winner is Hansel. Hansel, I think I'm pronouncing that right. After a great video, I need your suggestion. What is better, long-term or short-term for beginners? And thanks again for the video with my hope to more succeed. So yesterday was talking about crypto investing. He's asking, what's your suggestion, better long-term or short-term? I am not a day trader. I am a long-time hodler <laughs> or a holder. So I do recommend that you guys are looking more long-term on this. You're going to see a lot bigger gains. You know, I don't really like, I honestly don't really like day traders in the crypto space because they do cause a lot of volatility in the markets. Um, if you're going to be getting into crypto, I recommend that you do the long-term investment of holding your crypto, you know, for the, a minimum of one to three months, if not six months to a year. That's where you're going to see your biggest return. We're in a bull market right now, so it's kind of stupid even to be day trading. Um, anyway, but you can use your own judgment on that. You can do whatever you like to do. But my recommendation is to hold for the long term. All right, well, let's go ahead and check and make sure that he did upvote yesterday's post. All right, now, unfortunately, he did not upvote yesterday's post, so his comment is not going to count. You have to upvote the post and comment in order to win. So let's go pick another random winner. David Alexander says, great stuff, Brendan. I've been doing a similar thing, but using an email series of six emails to onboard members. Keep up the great work. Cool. So let's check and make sure that he did, he, he did upvote yesterday's post. And I can see his name right here. So he did. So David Alexander, you were actually the winner of yesterday's comment reward. So I'll be sending that over right away to you. All right. Today, 3.29 steam back dollars equals just about 20 US dollars, a little bit more. So let's transfer that over to him. Post this little memo here and submit. All right, so congratulations to David Alexander. All right, so in today's post, I really want to share with you because I was going through my wallet here on uh, Steambit, and I can see that my Steam dollars is up to 143, which is uh, more than I need to have in my account right now, right? Um, I really don't need that much to play with. I like to keep a little bit to use for upvote bots or to pay for other things on Steambit but I don't need that much. That's quite the surplus. So what I want to do is move some of this into my Steam Power. Now there's a couple of ways you can do this. You just click the down arrow here and you'll see that there's an option to go to market. So if you do this, you can actually sell, I'm sorry, buy Steam with it at the current market price. So you could just do that and then buy Steam. And then what you would need to do is come back over here to your wallet and your Steam would show up here and you would just go to Power Up, right? To get, make it into Steam Power. But I want to do it a little bit differently. You can also go to sell down here and you can actually sell your SBD for, change this down to Steam Power, okay? So what I did there is I went into my wallet, next to Steam Dollars, I clicked sell. It pulls up the block trades page, which is the exchange. And now I can put in whatever amount of Steam back dollars I want to turn into Steam Power. So let's have a look at what I've got here. I've got 143.9. Let me just do, let me just do 40. That'd be good. So let's do 40 SBD. And that's going to give me 46.881 Steam Power. So my receive address, my receive address should be my Steam account name, which is Brandon Fry. Okay. So now I need to get the deposit address. Okay. It says we're ready for your trade. Steam Connect. If you're sending funds from an exchange, you must click the manual transfer tab above and follow the instructions there. If you're sending funds from your own Steam account into your Steam name below, then click the button to complete the transaction using Steam Connect. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put in my name here. And that should work. Okay, we're going to test this out together, right? Transfer using Steam Connect. 
All right, this little Steam Connect app is going to pop up. I'm going to click Continue. Operation has been successfully broadcasted. The ID is there. And let's see, it says completed here. It looks like it gave me my 40 SPD. Let's go back to my wallet and check. Let's update this here. So it should be down to like 103 SPD in my account and more Steam Power. All right, cool. So I'm almost up to 600 Steam Power, which is awesome. Um, so I moved some of that money over. So if you have a, some extra SPD from your earnings and you're not using it for any reason, or if you just have more than you need, like I had today, then you can just do that and power it up into Steam Power. And like I mentioned, Steam Power is what's going to give you um, higher curation rewards and make your, makes your upvote worth more. So you really want to, at the end of the day, be building up your Steam Power, okay? So that's, that's really cool. All right, so you guys may be saying, well, Brendan, I don't have any SPD. I need some SPD to do that. Well, I got a little bonus for you guys here today. My buddy, JR11, who I met here, and really we've been talking back and forth a lot here on Steven, um, his page is JR11. If you go, and I'll actually leave a link to this below this video, but he's running a contest right now where he's giving away 10 SBD. All you got to do is like or upvote and comment on his post, and he will be giving out 10 SBD at the end of this payout period. So as you can see, I wrote here, this is a great idea, and I look forward to seeing who the winner is. Um, but it's getting a lot of traction, so you guys head on over there. Again, I'll put a link below this video so you go check it out. 10 SBD up for grabs. And then you can follow this tutorial I did today to move that into Steam Power if you win it. So that's really cool, okay? So that's all for today's video, guys. Make sure you do upvote and comment on this post if you liked it. And then you could win $20 worth of SBD on my next post. All right, guys, you have a great afternoon. We'll see you on the next video.